Hi everybody, welcome back to Equipment World. You're watching The Dirt. I'm your host, Brian, and today we're here to talk about software. And if you've ever looked into software, you quickly realize the waters are deep and these programs are expensive. But today we have a solution for you. Something that can fill the gap that isn't gonna cost you an arm and a leg and isn't gonna take six months to a year to actually learn the software. Without further ado, here is Ted from Kubla Cubed. So my first question is, for those not familiar with the software, uh, can you give us just a general overview of Kubla Cubed and, and what it does? Yeah, Kubla Cubed is our product for calculating uh, earthworks volumes. Uh, it's aimed at sort of earthworks contractors and estimators. Um, trying to prepare bids like pre-construction bids for cut and fill. So um, it supports both CAD and PDF workflows um, and it's, it's sort of aimed at the more sort of affordable end of the market and one of our main things is easy to use. Uh, so those are our two. There's obviously a lot of competition. I, I don't know if you know, the general landscape is quite competitive, but ours is kind of at the, I don't like to use the word budget, but the affordable end of things. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we will dive into that here in just a minute. For starters, though, can you talk a bit about some of the capabilities of the software? Is this something that you really need to have some sort of a either CAD file or PDF? Or are there some freehand design tools available as well? Yeah, there are some freehand design tools, especially when it connects to the proposed. So you can use it for sort of prototyping different ideas especially things like detention ponds, like building pads, this kind of uh, simple earthworks. The, most of our customers are doing a PDF takeoff. Um, some are using CAD, um, but it does have that capability for designing as well. So and that's something we're working on from feedback from a lot of people. They want for us to put more effort into the design tools. So um, we're working on that quite a lot. So yeah, PDF takeoff is the main core component. And then we've got CAD, uh, which is becoming more popular now and also for design, um, it, it can be used as well. Can you give us at a very high level, very briefly, what's kind of your workflow process with this software? If I've got, if I've got a set of PDF drawings, what's kind of my workflow? Yeah, I mean, the, the basic setup, the majority of projects we see will be, you've got either, you might have multiple pages, so that's one challenge straight away. So you need to stitch or overlay your plans. Um, but most plans will have an existing grades and then your proposed grades. So what we do is we have a process where we do the site plans, then you define your existing topography, then you do your proposed. And there's usually a final step, which is adjusting your finish levels, because uh, most plans will have marked finish levels. You need to adjust those down to subgrade. So we take care of that process. Um, and then finally, we're producing exports. So that's the kind of the mainstream workflow that we see uh, with the software. But there's a lot of other uh, workflows like for using it in utility trenches or doing foundations is another area which would be quite different. So um, it's kind of like a volumetric calculator, so it can do a lot of things, but that's the main thing it does. That's the main thing our customers need at the moment. Gotcha. And how quickly is the import process for those plans? Is that relatively automated? Is it still fairly manual? How does that work? Yeah, I mean, it can be. I'd like to be able to say, oh, it's just a one-click process, but that's a big part of the challenge is um, taking the data, which can often be incomplete or, or difficult to access. We and a number of other software companies have these PDF vector extraction routines, which can help pulling out the contours. We have tools for setting the contours. Um, so on a good day, it can be 10 minutes on a, on a bad day it can take a bit more but like that's kind of our job is creating those tools to make like a challenging process like you've got pdf plans with some incomplete information spread a lot of different sheets and it's like we pull it all together and try and simplify it it's like okay here's our models in 3d and then you know that's a big part of what we do is uh making that process as quick as possible. So I, I can't say it's a super simple process, but I think estimators know that it's it's challenging. So our software is to solve that problem as best as we can and we're always improving as we go. I will say most software, in my experience, as as much as everyone claims that it's this super quick automated click button deal, it never ends up being that way. There's always some manual component to it going in and tweaking and fixing and you yeah, know, the software um, decides it's going to import something that shouldn't have been imported. Yeah, I mean, we have, like, the, the issue is that PDF isn't necessarily a great format for 
transferring this kind of engineering drawings like it'd be better to be doing it in CAD with some standard but there's not really the standards and there's not CAD used in general actually there's another format called IFC which people are trying to push but there's one thing in theory and there's another thing in practice so yeah that's that that's the issue but yeah we're getting there and I mean with things like AI and things in the uh, future maybe maybe it will get faster every, every few years we improve our process so what did take two or three hours three years ago now takes us half an hour with the software and then hopefully we'll get down to 10 minutes hopefully one minute so my next question is can you talk about the ease of use and this one really this one hits home for me because as soon as you, especially as a small contractor that doesn't really have, I don't have a dedicated estimator, I don't have a dedicated guy who went to engineering school and he's familiar with CAD, can you talk about the ease of use? Because my experience with a lot of these takeoff software programs is you borderline need to go take a full-on course to even wrap your head around it. Yeah, I mean, our three sort of main points uh, with the software is uh, accuracy, that's obviously number one, um, uh, affordability and ease of use. So it's like those, those three things, three targets we had with the software. So it doesn't necessarily have all the features, but ease of use is really our, our niche. So one benefit with our software compared to say CAD software, like you're describing is ours is very targeted. So as we know our users are Earthworks contractors, it's a lot easier for us to say this tool needs to be for Earthworks contractors. So they're just slight tweaks that you can make. So it's like, we know that they'll be working feet or meters here, or we know it's not like some CAD software, which is designed for doing a circuit board or doing, you know, a caravan design. And then, you know, it's got a different, lot of different uses, whereas ours is very targeted. So we can make the tools very specific and cut out tools that uh, Earthworks estimators aren't going to have any use for. It's just like that core tool set that they need to get the job done. So a lot of our customers do come from cross sections and grid methods with the spreadsheet. So that's been a big part, especially initially of where our customers came from. So we have that journey of like, okay, we can't throw CAD complexity at them. We've got to throw something that they'll understand and try and keep it as simple as possible. That's been a useful process to like find customers who use spreadsheets and then be like, how do we onboard them onto this new world of 3D models and all that kind of stuff. That's where my personal experience with the software was exactly that. Kubla Cubed, I was able to step into that. And within a day or two of kind of fumbling around, watching the content that you guys had online, I was very quickly able to import drawings, do some freehand work as well, figure out my volumetric calculations. In fact, I just designed a pond in the software. And to be able to, within a half hour, have a really good idea of how much material is going to be coming out of that hole and it didn't take me six months to a year to figure out how to make it work in the software. I mean, that was huge. And that is a huge advantage over a lot of your competitors. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, thanks for saying, that, Brian. Yeah, like uh, you're kind of um, one, what we would say is our kind of target audience in some ways is like smaller contractors who haven't got tons of time to do training in CAD to kind of also the investment, especially if you're doing one job this month, maybe two, three months later, you're doing another job. You don't know when. If you if you pay up front for very expensive software and you can't make the money back, it's a it's a real problem. Um, and YouTube is a big part of what we do as well. Like when we first started, there wasn't so many YouTube videos, and we sort of I think pushed that a lot because a lot of um, other companies had like their videos behind username and password you had to enter. Whereas we put all ours on YouTube for free. I've done a few recently, and uh, some of my colleagues have as well. So. Uh, we should be doing that. But I think that's all part of it. To make easy to use software, you can't just make the software. You have to make the user manual. You have to do the YouTube videos. Um, we do these getting started sessions for new users. So it's all, you know, it's all part of the experience to try and make it. And hopefully we're, we seem to be succeeding in some ways. We're getting a lot of new customers, but we've got a long way to go. We still recognize like um, with some of the tools. I know you've given some feedback about wanting rectangles in the program. So we're going to try and put that into the next major release that we're working on. I've been thinking about how to fit that in and I think I've worked out a way. So that, that's an example of how it works. Like you say, okay, this is a real pain point for us. It'd be so much better if you could do this. And we're like, mm, is it possible? Yeah. Like we can move this and move that and, and get it working. So, you know, you need that. You have to have that conversation with customers. Otherwise it's not going to, it's not going to work. Yeah, absolutely. 
So my final question for you is really you've you've kind of skirted around it and touched on it a couple times, but it's my other favorite piece of the software. Can you talk about the affordability? Because that's the other huge pain threshold for us contractors, especially the small guys that aren't going to use this on a day to day basis. Is this sucker going to cost me twenty five hundred dollars a year? No, I mean, the affordable part is quite important to us. Like the prices are on the website. So the current prices are two nine five us dollars per year uh, for the subscription and there's another option which is the perpetual which a lot of companies don't even sell perpetual now but we do still um, and that is seven for one dollars um, and the good thing about the perpetual is it okay it's more expensive up front but if you're really on a budget you can say okay i'll buy it one time it does what i want more or less and then in another six seven years i can upgrade so that perpetual gives a real good value for money if you don't upgrade but if you do upgrade you want to be on the latest version the annual subscription's better. But we, we try and keep it, you know, affordable. Like my brother who came up with the original idea, he was like, oh, he was trying to design a school for a charity, right? And he was like, there's a lot of these high-end expensive programs out there which can do tons of stuff. You know, they, they're good. They're very expensive. There's a lot of training, a lot of going through the tutorials. I just want something simple like paint for, for earthworks. Um, and so that's how he came up with the idea. And we still try and maintain that kind of ethos um, and that's why we, we, you know, the price point is quite important for us to be in that uh, space, you know. Uh, so, yeah, affordable is uh, what we like to say. Yeah, it's and, and you perfectly encapsulated it with that story. That is exactly how the software is. I mean, am I going to go design a super complicated civil project in, in Kubla Cube? No. But, man, for... 99% of what I need as a small to mid-sized contractor to be able to do takeoffs, to be able to do some simplistic design, to, to be able to just pop into the software quickly. And if I don't remember something, I can go look up a video within 30 seconds and remember how to do it. That's where you guys hit the nail on the head. It is just, it's such an easy software relative to all of your other competitors in the marketplace it is just very straightforward to use yeah we do want to hold that space so yeah for things like like you described like ponds uh, building pads i mean it has been used for quite involved earthworks as well i think i've seen it on airports even and uh, big housing estates of like hundreds of plots so it is used in the higher end as well and we're sort of pushing towards that space we're thinking of splitting into two different products like a professional and a sort of ultimate version so we can keep the affordable factor and then sure. cater for some of the more high-end tools. But yeah, like the, the kind of one way I try and describe it is like a cut and fill calculator, but you've got your calculator for area length counts. But then when it comes to 3D, people are like, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this uh, pond or ditch or, you know, swimming pool plots, those kind of things. And so it's like, like kind of fills that space that like you just get it out quickly. And within, you know, 10, 20 minutes, you should have a good, good estimate for your volumes. Uh, so, yeah. Well, Ted, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, talk to us about Kubla Cube. This is awesome. Yeah, um, thanks so much. Uh, check out our website or um, we've also got a YouTube channel if you want to watch it in action. So, yeah, thanks again, Brian. Well, thank you again for Ted coming on the show to discuss the Kubla Cube software with us and show you some of the capabilities that the software can do and how it can help your business. As always, I hope this helps you and your company. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Dirt. <laughs>